Congratulations on your purchase of a Meto Model 2600 series handheld labeling tool. If you are a nursery customer, remember to always specify outdoor UV stabilized ink rollers and outdoor synthetic label material. Operating tip number one for the Meto tool, dial in the information you want to print and remember after you've done this, remove the knob to the home position to align and lock the bands in. To reload labels or change labels in the tool, you want to open the bottom of the tool up with these two release levers. It'll fall open. You want to break this band in two and remove the backing sheet that was waste. We then want to remove any remaining labels from the printer by spreading the imprinter apart. Just lift the labels or the core out. To load the new roll of labels in the tool, the bottom is open. You take your new roll of labels, make a letter J so that they come off the back. Just drop the label straight into the printer, spread the back, and drop it into place. Once the labels are coming out of the handheld tool, here they are, you just bring them about six or seven inches straight out. Make sure they're loaded beneath these rollers. These are for applying the label to the material we want to put the label on. We can now close the bottom of the tool and now we need to remove about 10 or 12 labels. Stick one to the other, they'll come off so that all we're going to have is wax backing sheet only. We now feed the backing sheet through the break on the imprinter, straight through to it comes out the back side. Once we see it appear on the back side, we can lock the break down and we're now ready to print labels. After running several rolls of labels, you'll need to change into a fresh ink roller. Be sure and specify a UV stable ink roller when you order. And to change the ink roller, click the tool down as if you were going to print a label. Gently pull the cartridge forward. Release the handle. Remove the label holder, excuse me, the roller holder with the roller enclosed. If you squeeze the cartridge together, you can easily remove the ink roller, the old one, dispose of it, get a new ink roller, be sure it's got one side green, one side black, and the most important thing in loading a new ink roller will be don't depress the foam. You will ruin the micro encapsulated ink if you do. You only want to put pressure on the outside to click this back into place. Once it's back in place, you can replace the cartridge in the tool and you're ready to print labels again. If you do incur a label jam or want to get access to the wheels to clean them after use, remember just open the tool, click the handle once, and here are your print bands available for cleaning. Do not use solvents. It's okay to use a stiff toothbrush or even a paper clip or some sharp little tool to clean the ink out of the characters after several cartons of labels use. That's the only maintenance there is to this tool. For repairs or further help, feel free to call Specialty Tag and Label. Thank you.